So, because I like to try new things, I tried some kombucha, 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 and now I am getting into fermenting it. So, let's do another unboxing of a new series that we got going on here, doing kombucha fermenting. So, let's do it. So, I went on Amazon and found a nice little $32 kit for the kombucha brewing. Comes with brewing instructions. One gallon glass brewing jar, organic SCOBY and starter liquid, organic tea blend, cotton tea bag, organic sugar, temperature gauge, and cotton cover with rubber band. So the brewing instructions are as follows. In a medium sized pot, bring four cups of filtered water to a boil, then turn off. Pour entire content of the organic tea blend pouch, three tablespoons, into the cotton tea bag and add to pot to steep. Allow tea to steep for five to seven minutes. Then remove the tea bag and discard tea. Rinse and air dry tea bag for next use. Pour entire content of organic sugar pouch one cup into the pot and stir. Once the sugar has dissolved, pour your newly made sweet tea mixture into the glass brewing jar. Fill the brewing jar with eight cups of cold filtered water. Jar should now be three fourths of the way full. Adhere the temperature gauge to the side of the jar and look to confirm your sweet tea solution is between 68 and 86 degrees before moving on to the next step. If it's still too warm, add another half cup of cold filtered water. Add entire contents of the SCOBY and starter liquid pouch onto the fly. So this kombucha home brew kit comes with one gallon glass brewing jar, an organic SCOBY and starter liquid, organic tea blend, cotton tea bags, organic sugar, temperature gauge, and a cotton cover and rubber band. The brewing instructions are as follows. Step one, in a medium sized pot, bring four cups of filtered water to a boil, then turn off. Um, step number two, pour entire contents of the organic tea blend pouch, three tablespoons into the cotton tea bag and add to pot to steep. Step number three, allow tea to steep for five to seven minutes, then remove the tea bag and discard tea. Rinse and air dry tea bag for next use. Step number four, pour entire contents of organic sugar pouch, one cup into the pot and stir. Step number five, once the sugar has dissolved, pour your newly made sweet tea mixture into the glass brewing jar. Step number six, fill the brewing jar with eight cups of cold filtered water. Jar should now be three fourths of the way full. Step number seven, adhere the temperature gauge to the side of the jar and look to confirm your sweet tea solution is between 68 and 86 degrees before moving on to the next step. If it's still too warm, add another half cup of cold water, filtered of course. Step number eight, add entire contents of the SCOBY and starter liquid pouch to the jar and give it a quick stir to combine. It's okay if the SCOBY sinks or floats in the jar. Step number nine, cover the jar with the cotton cloth and seal with the rubber band. Step number 10, place your brewing jar in a warm place out of direct sunlight with plenty of airflow, no closed cupboards. Leave it there for seven to nine days and do not move it. Step 11, by days seven to nine, you will see a new cream covered layer has grown in on top of your new brew. This is your new SCOBY. While trying not to disturb the new culture of on the top, use a spoon to taste test your brew. Taste awesome, you're done. Still a little too sweet? Put the cloth back on and let it ferment a few more days. Once your kombucha is done, high five someone. You can choose to enjoy it plain or add additional flavorings and carbonate during bottling. See backside for details on next steps. Post brewing. Now that your kombucha has finished brewing, reach into your brew jar and remove the scobies. Set them aside in a container or jar with one to one half or two cups of finished kombucha. Two cups, one to two cups. This will be your started liquid for the next batch. When you are ready, to brew again, simply follow the front side instructions using one or both of your SCOBYs and your new starter liquid. Older SCOBYs are ready to be retired after five or six brews. Bottling. You can use any style glass bottle or jar for bottling kombucha, but some are better than others for adding carbonating. Carbonation. Carbonation. Swing top 
style glass bottles with clasps or long neck bottles and growlers with a polycone cap are optimum for making highly carbonated kombucha. Recycled store-bought kombucha bottles and mason jars will work in a pinch. Brewing tips. Keep your brew jar between 68 to 86 degrees. Mid 70s is optimal. If you find your brew is too cold, place your brewing jar near a heated vent on a high shelf in a warm room or place a heat wrap around it to keep it warm. Most kombucha brews reach their ideal flavor between seven to 21 days, depending on the temperature. The colder it is, the longer it takes. The summer, the, lo the colder it is, the longer it takes. The warmer it is, the faster it brews. Clean your brewing jars and bottles with hot water and vinegar or soap, but not antibacterial soap. Rinse well, always use clean hands when handling your SCOBY. When your new SCOBY grows in across the top, it will be iridescent at first and then grow thicker and creamier each day. If your kombucha culture looks odd once it grows, it across. <laughs> if your kombucha culture looks odd once it grows in across the top, that's okay. Your new SCOBY can be bumpy or smooth. It might have air bubbles or yeast globs on it. Yeast is the brown looking debris and is a healthy sign of fermentation. So, tea and sugar. For every one gallon batch of kombucha you brew, use one cup of refined sugar and six to eight caffeinated tea bags or three tablespoons of loose leaf caffeinated tea. Brew kombucha using only a refined white sugar or evaporated cane juice. Do not try to use alternatives such as honey, stativa, coconut sugar, brown sugar, turbinito or sugar in the raw. These are too difficult for the culture to break down. As for tea, you can brew kombucha using black oolong or green tea. A blend of these works well. For reference, this kit uses a blend of Assam black tea and Sencha green tea. So, need flavor inspirations? Try these few to start. Recipes for one 16 ounce bottle. Tropical twist, two tablespoons of pineapple juice or chopped pineapple, one tablespoon of chopped fresh or frozen mango. Raspberry ginger, two tablespoons of fresh or frozen raspberries, one tablespoon of chopped ginger. Tart and sweet, two tablespoons of Concord grape or cherry juice, one tablespoon of lime juice. So that's how you get into that. I am looking to be excited to this new series. So let's thank everyone for joining in and subscribing. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to ask some questions about this stuff, put it in the comment section. I will be happy to respond. So thanks for checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one.